So hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to georeference a hydrogeological map in RGIS Pro. So now let's get started. So in the table of content section, you can able to visualize we have this shapefile, uh, shapefile called model domain. So this is our study region. And now let me show you my hydrogeological map. So this is my hydrogeological map. So it contains uh, coordinates. So using this coordinates, we can georeference this particular hydrogeological map for our analysis. So now to add this hydrogeological map into RGIS Pro, so we're gonna navigate to this option called map. And in that, we're gonna click this option called add data and click this option called add data to the map. So now navigate to the folder location where you saved your hydrogeological map. So now I have navigated to the folder location where I've saved my hydrogeological map. So we're gonna click this map here and click OK. So now we have this warning sign called unknown coordinate system. So the map data source is missing coordinate system information. So, uh, so currently this particular hydrogeological map doesn't contain any uh, coordinate reference system. So first we're going to check this coordinate reference system of this particular image. So we're going to right click on this image and click this option called properties. And in that you can uh, navigate to this uh, and uh, in this, uh, we're going to navigate to this option called source and we're going to navigate to this option called spatial reference. So we're going to click this uh, spatial reference. So currently it is an unknown coordinate system. So to georeference our uh, hydrogeological map, first we're going to change the overall coordinate system of this. Uh, so we're going to change the coordinate reference system of my overall map. So to do that, we're going to navigate to this option called uh, map. I'm going to right click and click this option called properties. And in that, we're going to navigate to this option called coordinate systems. And here you can able to visualize the currently the model domain is uh, belong to this particular coordinate uh, system called WGS 1984 UTM zone 40, uh, 40 North. And the unknown coordinate system system is our hydrogeological map. So what I can do is so uh, I can change the overall uh, coordinate system of this uh, map here. So to do that, I'm going to navigate, scroll down. I'm going to click on navigate to this option called projected coordinate system and in that I'm going to navigate to this option called UTM and uh, in the UTM we're going to navigate to this uh, option called WGS 1984 and in the northern hemisphere I'm going to select my coordinate system of this particular study region. So this particular study region is lying in Dubai. So the coordinate reference system for this particular study region is lying in WGS 1984 UTM zone 40 north. So now we're going to select uh, WGS 1984 UTM zone 40 north. So we're going to scroll down here. So now we can able to visualize this is our required coordinate system. So WGS 1984 UTM zone 40 north. So every study area has its own uh, coordinate uh, coordinate reference system with a specific zone a zone that indicating uh, so it's uh, currently the study region has a UTM zone 40 north. So uh, I have selected my coordinate system of my study region. So I'm going to click OK. So once you selected the coordinate system of your choice, I'm going to click OK. So the next uh, we're going to do is uh, we're going to bring this hydrogeological map uh, imported into our vicinity of our working areas here. So uh, this is our hydrogeological map. So now to place this hydrogeological map in the vicinity of a working extent, I'm going to select this map here. And uh, I'm going to navigate to this option called imagery. And in that, we have this option called uh, georeference. I'm going to click this. And uh, once you did that, and now we're going to click this option called fit to display. So now uh, you can able to uh, view that. Our currently, our hydrogeological map is available in the vicinity of a working area. So let me turn off this model domain. So uh, currently, our map is in, uh, in a correct coordinate system. So, uh, so to georeference this uh, hydrogeological map, we're going to navigate this option called add a control points. We're going to click this. So once you did that, there is a plus like symbol that appears here. So we're going to add the coordinates. Uh, we're going to add the control points uh, in this uh, intersections here. So we're going to add this control points in this intersection one. So you can also check the coordinate reference system currently. So we're going to click this option called map here. And in that, we're going to click this option called properties. So the, currently the, it is in uh, WGS 1984 UTM zone 40 north and uh, in general we're going to navigate and make sure that our map units are in meters. So the display units make sure that it is in meters and uh, click OK. 
So now to georeference this particular hydrogeological map, first we're gonna add some uh, control points to this map here. So in this intersection one, two, three, and four. So uh, to do that, I'm gonna navigate within the georeference section. I'm gonna add this uh, option called add a control points. So now the plus flag symbol that appears here. So I'm gonna place a control point uh, in this intersection here. So I'm gonna zoom this uh, and I'm gonna place my control point by left click and uh, I'm gonna check for this coordinates uh, details here. So it is in uh, 25 degree nor uh, north uh, coordinate and uh, in this uh, it is in 55 degree easting coordinates. So I'm gonna right click here and in the target coordinates uh, window appears here. So I'm gonna click it as uh, show coordinates in degree minutes and second. So currently in the decimal coordinate system that is in uh, currently it is in uh, decimal uh, format so to convert to uh, degree minutes and second format i'm going to click this option called show coordinates in dms so now we can uh, able to visualize the longitude so currently the longitude is in uh, 53 so the points we have placed so the longitude for this particular is it is in uh, 52 uh, degree east so 52 53 54 and 55 so this particular uh, longitude is in uh, 52 uh, degree east so i'm going to enter as 52 and i'm going to uh, change the minutes and seconds to zero and uh, it is in easting and similarly the latitude uh, it is in 25 degree north uh, so i'm going to enter in the latitude as 25 uh, degree uh, 25 degree and I'm gonna turn the uh, minutes and seconds to zero. And in the north, uh, make sure that it is in north and click OK. So now we have first uh, managed to place our first control points in this intersection. And similarly, I'm gonna place a control point in this intersection too. So I'm gonna zoom it to this particular intersection here. And I'm gonna place the control point by uh, left click and I'm uh, gonna zoom out to check for the coordinates of this uh, map here. So currently it is in uh, currently it is in 25 uh, degree north and uh, 56 uh, degree east. So to enter this coordinates, I'm gonna uh, right click, and uh, in this window, I'm gonna enter as show coordinates in DMS. So currently the coordinate uh, coordinates for the lo longitude. It is 56 uh, degree uh, east, so I'm gonna enter the zero minutes as zero, and the seconds I'm gonna enter as zero, and it is in uh, easting, and similarly the latitude it is in 25 degree north, so it is in 25. I'm gonna enter as a zero. Similarly, seconds I've entered zero and north. I'm gonna click OK. So now we have managed to add a second control point. And similarly, we're going to add our third and fourth control points in this intersection here. I'm going to zoom it. So it is in 23, the 23 degree north and 52 degree east. So I'm going to place the control point here. And I'm going to right click. And in the DMS. So it is in 52 degree uh, east. So it is correct. And I'm going to make it zero. The minutes and seconds. And similarly, the latitude is lying in 20, the 20, uh, 23 uh, degree north and uh, I'm gonna make sure that the minutes and seconds are turned to zero So once you did that uh, we're gonna click ok So now we have added the, the third control point for our hydrogeological map and Similarly, we're gonna add the last control point to our map. So I have navigated this to this uh, intersection here so it is in uh, so it is in 20, uh, 23 uh, degree north and 56 degree east so this particular intersection, so I'm going to zoom it. So I'm going to place a control point by left click and uh, right click. So in the longitude it is in 50, 56 degree east. So it is correct. So turn the minutes and seconds to zero. So we are turning uh, zero uh, minutes and zero seconds because we have only the information about the longitude. That is a degree. We have uh, only the information of degree. We don't have the information about the minutes and second. For that, we are turning it as, as a zero. And similarly, the latitude. So uh, the latitude is 20, uh, 23 degree uh, north. Zero minutes and zero seconds. Click OK to place our final control point. 
So now you can able to visualize our hydrogeological map. So it is currently placed in this study region. So let me uh, turn this off. So it is currently lying in this, uh, it is lying in UAE. So this is our study region. So you can able to see that. So once you've uh, added your control points and you can currently able to see that it is currently have placed it in this, uh, over that study region, UAE. You can able to see that. So once you did that, we're going to navigate this option as uh, save as new. So to basically to update your geo-reference to this uh, map, so you can export as a new uh, image uh, to your uh, any folder of your choice, or you can save this geo-reference by clicking this option called save. So once you did that, the geo-reference of this uh, particular hydrogeological map automatically updated. So now to check uh, for the geo-reference, so basically by clicking the save option, it automatically updates the georeferencing transformation of the source raster. So this is our source raster, that is our hydrogeological map. So now to check for the hydrogeological map is georeferenced, uh, we're going to close this uh, georeference section here. So I'm going to remove this map here, I'm going to remove this. And now I'm going to add this map again to check for the georeferenced uh, image of our hydrogeological map. So I'm going to add this. So now I have navigated to the folder location of my hydrogeological map. I'm going to click this and click OK. So now it is currently placed uh, correctly in our, over our study region, UAE. So you can able to see that. So now uh, we have managed to georeference our hydrogeological map in RGIS Pro. So thanks for watching and uh, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and give us a like.